I'm Bernadette Pfeiffer. I'm the director and curator of the George Washington Carver Museum and Cultural Center. Everyone who comes to the Carver loves it. We invite all people to come and enjoy the Carver Museum. Angela, the kitchen diva. Well, she most definitely was a part of this facility. Angela was there before I came. She was an interim curator at the site and uh, very grateful that she was there because we had a lapse in the time of directors or curators for the facility. And um, you know Angela, she was even a diva then. I'm Angela Shelf Medeiros and I'm the Kitchen Diva. Woo! Hi y'all, today's show is really special. It's a salute to scientist, teacher, inventor, and artist, Dr. George Washington Carver. And this is sweet potato and peanut butter muffins that I'm gonna prepare. So these sweet potatoes that we're gonna use uh, in this particular recipe have been kept in the oven for an hour to fully develop their fabulous flavor. Now sweet potatoes are really good for diabetics because what it does is stabilize your blood sugar level and lowers your insulin resistance. So if you're diabetic, you really might wanna consider uh, incorporating sweet potatoes into your diet. They're very, very good. The Great Lakes Bay region was recently taken by storm when Chef Angela Medeiros visited Saginaw Valley State University during their annual Taste of Soul celebration. Full of energy, humor, and immense talent, Angela shared with Soul Issue her philosophy on children's literature, African American cooking, and embracing an overall healthy lifestyle. About 22 years ago, I started out as a children's writer, and uh, in about 1994, Texas Monthly Magazine said that I was one of the most influential children's writers in Texas, which was a great honor because there's a lot of children's writers, uh, not only in Texas, but all around the United States. And my career uh, has really blossomed as a children's author. As a child, my experiences were shaped from what I read. I loved to read, but I never saw any children who looked like me in any books. There weren't any African American children represented in books. And so Book Booster started me off on a way of thinking about writing, because I was writing for adults, just magazine articles and things, but Book Boosters made me realize that it was really, really important for children who were trying to learn how to read to also have books that reflected their own experiences. And in order to do that, you would have to have a writer who understood those experiences. And it was also important for children of other races to be able to read about children and their experiences and realize that there was a commonality in all those experiences. That you were looking forward to Christmas, that you, you wanted something special for your birthday, that you, you know, felt different from the rest of your brothers and sisters. All these things have no race to them. My gimmick became the kitchen diva, this woo flamboyant woman in this, uh, and I designed this apron that has the top has a hot pad stuck into the bustier, and then it's it's made out of red satin, and, it's, and I wear a feather boa, and I'm always going woo, and all, you know, fabulous, and all this kind of stuff. And uh, because Angela Shelf Madera's culinary historian was not getting booked, but the kitchen diva goes everywhere. My book is The New African American Kitchen, and there's a whole chapter in the book I call Divabetics because my sister, my mom, my husband, and my dad are all diabetics. Divabetics is the new way of looking at uh, African and African American cuisine, which is typically African American cuisine is healthy because those are recipes from Africa and those are fresh ingredients. Now soul food, the food of slavery, is not that healthy, but it can be made healthy just like any other food. It's just food. Food has no race. So what I've done is taken a lot of the recipes that incorporated pork or lard or these kind of things, for instance, greens, and made them just as delicious. I've gotten the Angelin Shelf stamp of approval. That's my mama. And her favorite thing are greens. And if she gives you a thumbs up on your greens, then you have really excelled. And, um, and I've taken pretty much anything you can think of and try to make it really tasty, really healthy by using alternative sources of protein. I've used tofu and a satan, which is a wheat. Um, gluten, just all kinds of things you wouldn't think of. Some things you think of, some things you wouldn't think of. You're really going to have to be proactive about the things that you do if you really want to live a, a uh, good, high-quality life in, in your later years. And the way that you can do that is start thinking a little bit broader, a little more diversity in your not only your life, but your, your food, and, and put that same sort of attitude to everything that you do. Try something new.